Good evening. Good evening and welcome to set two of the club finals of the 2023 American Pianists Awards in Jazz. Welcome especially if you are just now joining us online or in person or if you are returning from set one earlier this evening. I'm Sylvia McNair, your host for the evening, and we are live from the beautiful cabaret in Indianapolis, Indiana. I've hope, yeah. I've hosted the American Pianists Awards before, but this is my first time for jazz, and my first time to be at the cabaret, and wow, what a stunning space it is. And aren't you a stunning audience? <laughs> it's great to see everyone, and whether you are in the theater or watching via the webcast from someplace around the world, you are in for a unique and exciting evening of jazz by some of the top young jazz pianists in this country. Set one was over the top, and there is every reason to expect this set to match it in terms of sheer excitement. Thank you for being here. And a big special thanks to those generous sponsors who are making this happen. REI Real Estate Services, Mike Wells, President. They are the overall sponsor of the 2023 awards. Thank you, Mike. And Dr. Gary and Kristen Geipel are the sponsors of both sets of tonight's performances here at the Cabaret. Thank you. Thank you, Gary and Kristen. I should add that both Mike and Gary are longtime supporters of the American Pianists Association. Mike is a former chair of the board and Gary is currently a member of the board. Tomorrow night, yeah, right. <laughs> Tomorrow night, Saturday, we go to the Hilbert Circle Theater for the gala finals, hearing the finalists with the marvelous Cecile McLaurin Salvant in Jazz Standards. A huge shout out to Cecile, who is my new BFF. <laughs> She's here in the theater. Hi, Cecile, can hardly wait. <laughs> and tomorrow night concludes with the premieres of five specially commissioned arrangements, one for each finalist, for piano, and the Buscelli Wallarob Jazz Orchestra, arranged and conducted by none other than Brent Wallarob himself. Thank you, Brent. <laughs> but tonight, tonight, in this second set, we will hear all five of the finalists in both solos and trios. Joining them for the trios will be the legendary sidemen, Kenny Phelps on drums and Nick Tucker on bass. <laughs> If you heard any of the season-long premiere series from the Jazz Kitchen, you know what these guys can do. And coupled with the finalists, it is jazz like you have never heard before. Well, except perhaps earlier tonight in set one. <laughs> so here we go. Our first finalist is Esteban Castro. Esteban is 20 and from New Jersey. He is a student of Ted Rosenthal at Juilliard. Classically trained as well as in jazz, he also won a classical competition playing the Prokofiev First Piano Concerto. Very impressive. Esteban will play three tunes in this set, two originals, Indigo Flurries and Love Song, and will end with Bud Powell's Oblivion. Please welcome Esteban Castro with Kenny Phelps, drums, and Nick Tucker, bass. Thank you. 
Kevin Phelps on the drums. Nick Tucker on the bass. Thank you so much. Uh, it's really, really been an honor to be a part of this wonderful competition and, you know, be around the other four, you know, incredible contestants. It's been really, really humbling and, and just a great experience. So thank you so much to the APA. Um, thanks to my host family, uh, Bill and Martha Sando. They've been so wonderful. Um, it's so great. <clears throat> that was a song called Indigo Flurries I wrote. Um, I wrote it in history class, um, so. <laughs> Don't tell my teacher I said that, please. Uh, or professor, I guess. Um, I'm gonna continue <laughs> with, a, with a song I wrote called Love Song, and then I'm gonna close out with uh, a, a piece written by one of my biggest inspirations just in my life, the great Bud Powell. Uh, he's a huge inspiration for me. Yeah, <laughs> clap for Bud Powell. <laughs> um, so yeah, hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for coming out.
Esteban, Kenny, and Nick. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you, guys. Next, we hear Paul Cornish. Paul is originally from Texas and now lives in LA. He graduated from the Herbie Hancock Institute of Jazz at UCLA, a winner of numerous competitions and awards. He is heard around the world with leading jazz and pop artists. Paul will play two tunes, Dolphus Dance by Jerry Allen and It Is Well, Peace by Horace Silver. Please welcome Paul Cornish to the cabaret stage with Kenny Phelps and Nick Tucker. Thank you. 
Thank you. Uh, I said this in the premiere, p- premiere series, but uh, y'all are some very generous clappers in Indianapolis. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's awesome. It's great. No, it's, um, no I've just been met with just the most um, warmth and uh, hospitality. Um, and it actually, I'm from Texas, so I feel like that reminds me of home in that way. Um, you know, some other things about home that <laughs> we don't have to talk about, but <laughs> and and all the, and all the you know southern hospitality and kindness and all that. I've, I feel like I've been met with that in Indianapolis, so thank you for that. Uh, uh, that was a composition by the late great Jerry Allen entitled "Dolphy's Dance," and uh, it was. I guess her sort of homage to Eric Dolphy, the great saxophonist. And uh, yeah, I, I also set this in the premiere series, but uh, I've sort of made it my mission, every platform I get to play the works of like a Jerry Allen or Mary Lou Williams or Carla Blay, these uh, important figures uh, who aren't talked about enough. Yes, please. Um, yeah, just incredible um, music, and uh, they were such incredible, um, just masters of of the art form. And uh, I I feel like it is it is the onus is on us as the current uh, performers and um, you know carriers of this music to to tell their stories and to um, carry their music forward. Um, so, Jerry Allen, uh, if you get a chance, please check out her version of this, which uh, is is just simply amazing, and all her music is. Um, And one more time, please give it up for Nick Tucker on bass. (laughs) Kenny Phelps on drums. I'm gonna give them a a little break. do a, do a solo one, uh, if, that, if that's okay with y'all. Uh, <laughs> I mean, even if it's not, I'm, I think I'm, <laughs> I think I have to, legally obligated. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but I hope at least, you know, you enjoy it. Uh, this is kind of a mashup of two, two uh, songs, I guess. Uh, I was saying yesterday, we performed at Christ Cathedral Church. Um, I. I uh, grew up going to church uh, a lot, and I'm just grateful for that foundation uh, that, you know, my mother instilled me, uh, you know, about God and, uh, you know, uh, that my gift uh, came from him. And, uh, you know, um, all those hymns, uh, even though I feel like I was too young to fully comprehend, um, you know, what they meant as I get older, they really they truly stuck with me. Um, And so this is one of them is entitled uh, It Is Well. And uh, I just love the first uh, lyric of it that says, uh, when peace like a river uh, attendeth my way. Um, And thinking of that made me think of a piece by Horace Silver, also another great composition. And um, I feel like those tunes especially have been on my heart because, you know, I don't know if it's just me, but there's been a lot of crazy stuff <laughs> happening in the world. And, um, but also simultaneously, there's such a piece for like everyone finding happiness, you know, but I just feel like that doesn't last very long. You know, when kind of life hits you, it's hard to just be happy, but I feel like peace is one of those things that you can take with you into turmoil. So um, more so than everyone's happiness here, I wish that uh, everyone has peace or finds peace. And so I'll leave you with this. Thank you.
Thank you, Paul. It is well with my soul. Thank you so much for that. And thank you, Nick and Kenny, too. Our third performer tonight is Isaiah J. Thompson. Isaiah is a Steinway artist, originally from West Orange, New Jersey, who now lives in New York City. He received undergrad and graduate degrees in jazz from the Juilliard School. A winner of the 2018 Lincoln Center Emerging Artist Award, among numerous others, he released the album The Power of the Spirit last month. For this set, Isaiah will play three tunes, Funky Blues by Johnny Hodges, the iconic Take the A Train by Billy Strayhorn, and a third, which he will announce from the stage. Please welcome Isaiah, Kenny, and Nick.
Tucker at the, at the bass. Nick Tucker at the bass. Cammy Phelps at the drums. I wish I could take credit. Uh, I cannot. First, the band. Thank you. <laughs> Um, and uh, if you haven't heard that one, that's, that's a special one. It's something I, I discovered fairly recently. What a, I can't describe to you what it's like to hear Charlie Parker play after Johnny Hodges. It's like, <laughs> talk about a competition. <laughs> um, we're gonna uh, continue with something else, uh, something that honors Billy Strayhorn and the great Duke Ellington. Hope you enjoy.
play one more if that's all right. <laughs> uh, this is something I wrote uh, a number of years ago. It, uh, it's entitled Thank You Betsy. Um, it's featured on the latest recording um, entitled The Power of the Spirit. And Betsy was a car. <laughs> <laughs> Betsy was a black Volvo that is no more. <laughs> and uh, but Betsy got me to fencing practices, uh, music rehearsals, school, all the things. So this is Thank You, Betsy. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, Isaiah. And thank you, Betsy. And thank you, Isaiah's mom, who's having a birthday today. <laughs> Marvelous, that was fabulous. Next up is finalist Thomas Linger. Thomas is a New York-based pianist, originally from Waynesville, North Carolina. He has an undergraduate degree from the University of North Carolina, Greensboro, where he studied with 1983 American Pianists Awards winner John Salmon. A winner of competitions, Thomas released his debut album, Out In It, late last year, and is heard frequently in the New York City area. Thomas will play three tunes, A Shade of Jade by Joe Henderson, an original tune called Linger's Lament, and he'll conclude with Bud Powell's Wail. Please welcome Thomas Linger.
Thank you so much for that very warm round of applause. I just want to thank you all for being here and being such an incredible audience. That's very important to us up here on stage. We feel every bit of your energy and your love, so thank you. Um, I'm just so honored to be a part of this experience here with APA. I can't thank them enough for doing what they do to support young artists like myself and the other four wonderful guys. So um, let's see. How about it also for this wonderful band here that's able to just switch gears on a dime. <laughs> Nick Tucker, Kenny Phelps, thank you guys. So thank you all for being here and tuning in. And uh, I'm going to finish tonight off for me with a tune by one of my greatest piano inspirations and in just music in general. And that's Bud Powell, and this is his tune, Whale. So thank you and good night.
Kenny. Thomas, did you leave any ivory on those keys? <laughs> Terrific. Our final pianist tonight is Kaylin Cardello. Kaylin is 22 and grew up in a musical household in New Jersey. He has studied both classical and jazz piano and has a degree in jazz performance from William Patterson University. Kaylin will play three tunes. First, an original tune he calls A Night at the Knickerbocker, followed by the Cedar Walton Simple Pleasure and concluding with Rakin' and Scrapin' by Harold Mayburn. Please welcome to the cabaret stage, Kaylin Cardello.
Thank you. Thank you. Kenny Phillips on the drums. And Nick Tucker on the bass. That was an original of mine entitled A Night at the Knickerbocker. And I wrote that pretty recently because uh, I've had a few opportunities lately to play at this club in New York City called the Knickerbocker, which is historically known um, because Cedar Walton and Hank Jones used to play duo piano there uh, with bass player, like with Ron Carter in, uh, in like the 90s. And the same piano is still there. And so I just got a bunch of inspiration from playing there and you know being a real big fan of Hank Jones and Cedar Walton. Um, which brings me to the next tune um, I'm going to play is A Simple Pleasure by Cedar Walton. So hope you guys enjoy. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Before we uh, conclude this, um, the late but not so late set, um, I would just like to thank APA again for all that they've done for me and on behalf of the other finalists. I really want to thank my parents who are in the house tonight, <laughs> my mom and dad. I guess you guys did something right. <laughs> Love you guys so much. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, I'm going to close with um, a piece written by someone who I was so honored and grateful to have been able to study with in the last year and a half of his life. And that is the late, great Harold Mayburn. Yes. And he, um, uh, I mean, what can I say about it? He's just, he was the most beautiful human being ever. And this piece is so uplifting. I want you, like, if you guys feel like, like moving, shaking whatever you want, clapping whatever you want, like, just, you know, get into it because this is, this, this is the tune to, to do it to. So <laughs> have a great night. Thank you guys so much.
on drums. Nick Tucker on bass. Bravo. That did get us moving. Well, my goodness, this brings us to the conclusion of the club finals of the American Pianists Awards. But before we go home, let's give another big round of applause to all five of the finalists. And to Kenny Phelps and Nick Tucker. I think Kenny Phelps and Nick Tucker deserve the gold medals of the evening. <laughs> Gentlemen, all seven of you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What an inspiring evening. Oh, following applause, performers exit the stage. Oh, that's what it says right there. <laughs> A reminder that we get to hear these young pianists again tomorrow night at the gala finals at the Hilbert Circle Theater in Indianapolis. Joining them will be the awesome Grammy-winning vocalist Cecile McLaurin Salvant. Woohoo! And the Buscelli Rollo Rob Jazz Orchestra. Please join us in person or online and I will turn over my MC duties to the great jazz pianist, Bill Charlep. With many thanks to our sponsors tonight, REI Real Estate Services as the title sponsor for the entire awards, and to Dr. Gary and Kristen Geipel for generously supporting these club finals. From the American Pianists Association Board, the awards steering committee, the staff, and from myself, Sylvia McNair. Good night. Thank you.